SolarGraph is a powerful tool to help our partners design solar and battery systems under NEM 3.0. This video will demonstrate the five easy steps to design a system and create a compelling homeowner proposal. Step one, project details. We start with entering the homeowner's address and move on to entering the project details. You can select site imagery from any of our providers or use your own custom images. SolarGraph finds the usage rates automatically based on the site address. In this example, we've automatically selected PG&E and the residential E1 rate. For NEM3 customers, we also automatically select the appropriate NEM3 post solar tariff and grid connection type. Next, you model the homeowner's energy consumption. You can do this by using our estimation tool, which allows you to select from a variety of inputs, or you can upload your client's green button data in XML format or energy usage in CSV format. Using green button data will result in the most accurate model of bill savings. Also, if you use green button data, the consumption profile is automatically modeled. Otherwise, you can select from a list of consumption profiles provided by SolarGraph, or you can also create your own custom profile. Now, let's create a design. Step two is the roof design. You start by drawing the perimeter of the roof, then dividing the facets. Lastly, you use the wizard to automatically generate a 3D model of the home, including pitches, azimuths, obstructions, and trees. Once the model is rendered, you can view your beautiful 3D model. Now let's design the solar system. Step three is the solar design. We start our solar design by running our shading wizard, which will calculate the shading on the roof. Next, we designate our fire setbacks using an address-based list of AHJs provided by SolarGraph, or you can customize your own. Lastly, we place the panels. You can do this easily by selecting our panel tool and then selecting the facet of the roof. Confirm your hardware details and then click on that roof section. Now we can calculate the production of this system. As you can see, this system results in about 114% consumption offset. We want to target 100%. I can modify this design by simply removing some panels. I can easily remove panels by selecting them and deleting them from the array. After removing the panels, we can recalculate the production. Now you see we're closer to 100% consumption offset. You can also see that with the 100% consumption offset, you're only getting a utility bill offset of 58%. What this means is that under NEM3, you'll need a battery to maximize the ROI. To add a battery to the design, let us go to step four. Step four, battery design. To add a battery to our design, let us first select the manufacturer as end phase, then select the end phase IQ 5P. On SolarGraph, you have the ability to model for both grid tide or for backup. Let us do a grid tide option with a bill offset of 85%. Before I show the recommended battery size, let's recall that the utility bill offset with solar only is at 58%. Now let's show the battery recommendation. You will notice that on addition of a 10 kilowatt hour end phase IQ 5P battery, the bill offset jumps from 58% to almost 90%. SolarGraph also allows you to change the battery size. Let us change to just one 5P, and then you'll see that the bill offset is now 75%. Let's reselect our 10 kilowatt hour battery. And now that we're done with the design, let's get to the proposal. Step five, generating a proposal. You can showcase to the homeowner the system design, the solar and battery design, and your financing options. We can see here that the old utility bill was about $372, but with solar and battery, it's now roughly $45. That's an almost 90% reduction in the utility bill. Homeowners can also view pricing, materials, as well as the usage breakdown. This graph illustrates how you charge a battery with excess solar production in the middle of the day 
and avoid buying energy later in the evening by discharging the battery and selling stored energy to the grid to maximize the homeowner's ROI. We can also take a look at their estimated savings. In this example, this project has a payback period of less than six years. This completes our demonstration of the five easy steps it takes to design a solar and battery system under NAM 3.0 and generate a compelling proposal for the homeowner. We are here to help you. You can reach our customer support team via email, phone, or chat. We also have weekly webinars on design, proposals, and NEM 3.0. We also have extensive material on how to utilize SolarGraph. Thank you for watching.